short spins. The spinner 10 times and the probability of obtaining a green on any particular spin is 0 0.9. Calculate the probability of George obtaining A, exactly 7 greens, B, at most 5 greens, C, less than 3 or more than 6 greens. So let x be the random variable, the number of times a green is obtained. So x will be binomially distributed with n 10 trials and a probability of success of 0 0.9. However, we don't have 0 0.9 in the table, so we have to consider the complementary of that. So let y be the complementary, the number of times a green is not obtained. So that means that y is binomially distributed with 10 trials and a probability of success 1 minus 0 0.9, which is 0 0.1. Right, in part a, we want the probability that x is equal to 7. If we were to do that using uh, this distribution, that would be the probability x is less than or equal to 7 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 6. So that's going to be the probability when we use the complementary function, we take change the x to y, reverse the strict inequality, and then take the number of trials, which is 10, and take away the, the 7. Same here, probability that y is greater, reverse the inequality sign, and write down 10 minus 6, which is the probability of y being greater than or equal to 3, minus the probability of y being greater than or equal to 4. Using our tables, this is 1 for 0 0.1. So we need to do this one, 1 minus probability of y less than or equal to 2, minus bracket, 1 minus y, the probability less than or equal to 3. So it's going to be 1 minus this 0 0.92898, minus 1 plus, minus times the minus, 0 0.9872. Working out on our calculator, we get 0 0.0574. B, we want the probability of at most five greens. So using the original distribution, we're going to get the probability that it must be x then or less than or equal to five. That's what at most means. So it, reversing the inequality to get the complementary ones, we've got y greater than the number of trials, which is 10, take away five. y must be greater or equal to five which means we need to do 1 minus the probability that y is less than or equal to 4. Using the tables, this is a 0 0.1 column. So we do 1 minus 0 0.9984, which is equal to 0 0.0016. The probability that x is less than 3 or probability that x is greater than 6. Writing down strict probabilities, we now write that probability of x less than or equal to 2, or the probability of x being greater than or equal to 7. So that's going to be uh, changing the inequality sign for the complementary, 10 minus 2, or y is less than or equal to 10 minus 7. So that's going to be the probability that y is greater than or equal to 8, or the probability that y is less than or equal to 3. This is going to be 1 minus the probability of y less than or equal to 7. This one will just keep us the same, so we need to do 1. Using the table, minus the probability of less than or equal to 7, which happens to be 1, plus the probability of less than 3, which happens to be 0 0.9872. This is zero, so we end up with an answer of 0 0.9872, which rounded off becomes 0 0.987. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the complementary, using the complementary uh, random variable when we have a probability of success greater than 0 0.5. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.